We've got another big idea from progressive, another progressive Democrat, Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky of Illinois. She's behind the emergency, the emergency Jobs to Restore the American Dream Act, which she says will create two million U.S. jobs in the next two years. Congressman, welcome. Uh, to, I wanted to get your uh, propaganda in there first. Tell us how your plan works. It's a very simple idea. If you want to create jobs, create them. And what we do is we had a, uh, we, we create a school improvement corps that's going to fix up the schools around the country, work that needs to be done. We're going to hire more teachers and firefighters and, and policemen. We're going to hire young people to fix up our, our parks. All things that, that need to be done. Health care workers, child care workers. And every single dollar is going to have to be connected to a job. And it's really a, a reasonable price. It's about, for two years, about $227 billion. Uh, but that doesn't even cost what we uh, consider what we save in unemployment insurance benefits and other benefits that uh, unemployed people need. And so, uh, but, but what we're actually going to do is make sure that we, stim we get the economy rolling by putting people back to work. Now, this, this seems like an old-fashioned idea that uh, would be common sense for a Democratic president to propose. Why hasn't the White House been coming out with something like this? Are they uh, hoping that you'll float this as a trial balloon and sort of pat you on the head and say, that, that's, that's very nice, Congresswoman, but uh, we'll see if it gets any traction before we decide to pick up something like this that we can fight for? Well, I want to tell you, just by putting this out um, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, announcing the legislation, we've had lots of inquiries from legislative offices. The White House has asked to see the, the proposal. Economists are estimating that it would reduce unemployment by about 1.3 percent, which would uh, be a very good start. It's not the only answer to the, the problem. Um, Hundreds of thousands of people around the country are uh, joining through their organizations in support of this legislation. Even the Tea Party thinks that it is more important to create jobs than to reduce the debt at this moment. And so I actually think this is the kind of simple idea. If you want to create jobs, create them. If you want to need to hire people, let's hire them. Now, you've also got a plan to pay for this, right? You've got a, a tax proposal that would actually fund a good portion of the $100 billion or so for the next two years that you think should be done. Tell folks uh, about, about that tax plan. Sure. Um, I introduced the Fairness and Taxation Act, which says what 81 percent of the American people want, and that is it taxes, it creates new tax brackets for millionaires ratcheting up to billionaires at 49 percent, people who make a billion dollars in taxable income, and there are such people. And that 49 percent is still lower than the high tax rate during the Reagan administration. So I use so, him as kind of a, a, a top rate. His and, uh, was 50 percent. Right now, under uh, and, and in your proposal, I mean, you're really the only Democrat who is trying to get some traction talking about the folks who have done the best in the last decade or two actually contributing. You know, one suggestion I have for you is not to just okay. have it be something that pays for jobs, but also link it to the fact that we're a nation at war. The idea that we've got, that we've had, you know, for 10 years, we've had a focus on cutting taxes for the best off in society at a time when we're at war. We've never done that before in American history. I think it's just immoral. And maybe that's a way you can weave that in to the jobs argument in terms of those who have done the best being willing to contribute their fair share to these causes. That's exactly right. You know, it's interesting. I was at a meeting of seniors, a number of old-time veterans, even World War II veterans, and I asked, how many of you think it's time for us to get out of Afghanistan? You know, every single hand went up. It was partly the money, it was partly the lives lost, and partly time to just focus on America now and use those resources. Um, and so I agree. It's the wars that have been put on the credit card, the tax cuts that have been put on the credit card. Time for everyone, as the president has said, to pay their fair share. This isn't about punishment or revenge against rich people. This is about everybody contributing. All right, Jan Schakowsky with a big idea that we'll be watching and hope it gets traction because if something doesn't get in the mix to actually get serious about the 25 million Americans today who are looking for full-time work and can't find it, uh, we're in a big mess. So thank you for your leadership and we'll be thank watching. Thank you.